coordinated gravity chair. A cold one, sit back and relax. This is the Fireside Channel. I'm going to leave it like that, too. Oh, good. I don't know what happened there. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the Fireside Chat Talks. Uh, so we are going to be doing over the next three, maybe four weeks, um, uh, interviews uh, with the hosts. And then I think we're going to do one with the staff. Um, am I right? Yes, Matthew? Or an, that's an executive edition, are we like- I think. I don't know. I I thought we were still like maybe pending on that. Was yes. No. You can oh, I could talk in this. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess uh, we could we could do it however we want. But I was thinking it could just continue to be a fireside chat out series until it's like done. Yeah. Uh, we just thought it'd be a good. It'd be fun for you guys to get a get to know us on outside of Discord and Pokemon. And uh, actually, we were supposed to do this two weeks ago, and then I forgot. That's my bad. Uh, so anyway, um, so Dino, how are you today? I am doing fine. Thank you, you for asking. Fine. Nice. Uh, so we asked if there were any questions that were off limits, um, and we got a no. So just get ready. Oh, it's going to be intense. Okay, interesting. Um, So why don't you start off by just giving our listeners just like a little background of yourself, where you're from, uh, where sure. you grew up, stuff like that. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I was uh, actually, if you listen to the episode, that's why I mentioned like Bolivia, because I was born in Bolivia, uh, Cochabamba, to be specific, the city. Uh, I came to Florida when I was seven uh, and lived in Florida, South Florida since then. Um, I actually did live in California for like about a year when I was like four, but I vaguely remember it just by pictures. Um, So that was like my first time like officially being in America. Uh, But, you know, I've always called Florida my home. I've lived here for over 23, yeah, going on 24 years. So, it's been a minute. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's, I'm trying to think like if there was like anything else besides that, but it was just, like, I never really moved anywhere. So there's nothing crazy in regards to that. Um, I do have family in Virginia where all the Bolivians are at. So yeah, believe it or not, there's a lot of Bolivians in Virginia for some reason. I don't that's know. Crazy. That's yeah, it, it's crazy. Yeah. It's really weird. I'm like, why are they going up there? And I'm like, I love the hot. <laughs> like I stay here. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know if you ever met any Bolivians in Florida. Like, there's barely any, if any, like none at all. Now that I think of it, I haven't. There's no. more Peruvians. Like, there's a lot of for Peruvians sure. down here. Like, for sure. Have you ever heard of a Bolivian restaurant? Mm. I know but we have heard of a Peruvian no, restaurant. Peruvian restaurants it's everywhere. Like, everywhere. Yeah, it's um, kind of like you know Colombian restaurants. So. <laughs> What's like the big uh, difference between like Peruvian food and like Bolivian food then? Um, is there like a staple food? They we don't have ceviche because we don't have an ocean near us, so we, we can't really claim ceviche. Uh but we, it's our culture is very similar. We have a lot of like similar dance uh dances. We have a lot of similar dishes, but 
uh, you know, for the most part, I know that they sort of see each other like as rivals. Um, but you know, every country that's like Argentina, Brazil is their rivals, especially because of soccer and stuff like that. Uh, we're rivals with like Chile as well because I think they took the land for us to get to the ocean. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, we have very similar. Uh, our cultures are very similar. We have a lot of clothes, you know that a lot of people would wear. I don't know if you know Astro himself mm-hmm. is very familiar with it, but they have a lot of very similar clothes that they use as well. Um, so earlier, I guess last year, well, not earlier. So last year, uh, this is what actually kind of spawned, uh, Wildcat to be able to come onto the show and then eventually join. Um, you had to take some time away from the show because of school. Um, and just for those of you who don't know, besides, you know, being an, an, extraordinary pvp player um dino is is in college yes um doing it's engineering but what is it exactly so i initially was doing uh civil engineering uh but then i sort of like uh steered away from it because I have friends that graduated and have been doing it for like at least two, three years. And it's basically like like an office job. And Mm -hmm. I didn't want that. That's kind of like what I was steering away from. I wanted to be on the field. Mm -hmm. And basically in order for me to not lose so many credits from what I already taken, I decided to do surveying. So it's geomatics engineering. So um, I don't know if you guys know, do you know what a surveyor is? Uh, either Matthew or okay, you guys both know yeah. like it's like mm-hmm. those guys that you see in the street with like a little you know tripod type of thing mm-hmm. um and basically those guys are always out in the field they're they're like at least five hours to eight hours and I'd rather be out in the sun standing up and like moving around than sitting on a desk you know without moving whatsoever uh so I, I did that I'm actually uh I sent Astro and Wildcat a picture of that I got uh, approved by the board to take my exam uh today yep. uh so now awesome. that was literally like yeah that's what, literally what i was waiting for a month uh to get back and that just basically was the last thing i needed to be sure that i'm graduating in december so um with you when you mentioned like i was i had to like sort of um go away for a little bit for like studying purposes when wildcat came in there might be a similar situation sort of this coming few months, depending like where I'm at in the semester. So just a heads up for <laughs> Astra, I guess now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, there might be, there might be a chance of that, but obviously, no, obviously like we'll definitely uh, try to be there as much as I can. Yeah. Um. So I'm going to, I know we, I was going to try and steer away from Pokemon as much as possible, but um, what is always interesting to me with anyone, especially so like I'm much older than you. (laughs) I mean, Um, what is it like six, seven years? I mean, when you think like, so I always look at, I look at it like this when it comes to ages, I look at it by, um, tv generations so like i could be two years older than you but the stuff i'm watching on tv is was different than what you were watching so like i started pokemon indigo league um you know right when it first came to america and stuff like that but you would have been like much younger you probably weren't watching it when it first came out i don't honestly don't even know when it first started to come out it was like 93 i think 93 i think it was like 93 or 94 it was around that time definitely i missed out like in a couple years because um i i recall getting my first game around like 99 or maybe 2000 so holy shit like yeah i didn't think it was that that far off I think it's I think it was around there. I know I was reasonably young, but I was also old enough to know when like people were like like uh oh this is 
a dem- demonic game like this is about monsters and it's about know, like, that whole thing because it came from another country that was in america about so. the devil <laughs> that's, that's yeah. what my mom used to say <laughs> yeah so i'm always interested in the younger generation that gets into pokemon or you know i say younger generation because there there is a difference um as far as media goes so what was your first encounter with pokemon what made you go like wow i really like this um unfortunately i hate to say it but like i mean i'm glad it happened but i hate to say it because it was just influence it was just influence with like friends that had it they pulled out some cards and i'm like yo like what is this like what is this pokemon cards over here like like it's just it looks cool like i'm like it intrigued me i just got uh peer pressure basically into playing it or getting liking it um also i didn't have cable either so like i only got to watch like wb kids so like on saturday mornings like that was just like my highlights every time like with a bowl of cereal you know uh watching like either batman or whatever it was that was on there pokemon maybe like even digimon i think it was uh, also there uh but I, f- I feel like the the reason i only got like into it was just because you know friends had it they there was all the hype that was you know uh all around pokemon so i just jumped on the bandwagon and i'm glad i did because you know i you guys can tell like, my whole background i'm i'm obsessed yeah yeah. So, uh, so what was it, Matthew? Nineteen ninety-eight. Yeah, nineteen ninety-eight was okay. uh, September eighth, nineteen ninety-eight. So I was, was only like a little bit a year after then. I was at. L- I was like. So I was 80... like four, fourteen, I think, if my math is right, eighty-four to ninety-eight. I was turning seven that year. Yeah, fourteen. So, so I definitely you see, but you see what I mean? Like that's a big, yeah, m- media gap difference. That like, was kind of like how when Greg was saying that he was like a fully adult when he yeah when Pokemon first. Yeah, came he out. said he was twenty eight. Yeah, something when like he that. was first introduced to it. Yeah. Um. So, besides, so besides Pokemon, like we all know just from listening to the show, like you're you're dedicated to this. Like this is. This isn't this is something that you put in what is the saying like you have to put in like a thousand hours of practice or something to become an expert or whatever like oh the 10,000 hours yeah um that's like i mean f- from the going on i think what almost 3 years that i've known you like i that's that's you like yeah um but besides pokemon Um, Is there anything else that you're as passionate about or like slightly like so like besides Pokemon, like for me, like music is is a huge passion of mine. Um, Is there something else that I would think the thing that comes closest, like in terms of like maybe something outside of like games would be soccer. Soccer is something I've always like kept up with. I've always mentioned, you know, hence why my name is Dino, because my favorite player is Ronaldinho from Brazil. Uh, and hence why I, whenever I'm in Discord, like, I always have like this emoji because mm-hmm. uh, it's what he used to do. Whenever he scored a goal, he'd be like, you know, he'd be like that. So, um, yeah, so it, it would be soccer if it wasn't anything like related to a game. Um and I keep up with it. I keep up with like every league, every national team, um, competition, World Cup, European, uh, the European League Cup, uh, basically everything. So I would say that would be my thing. I used to play uh, FIFA actually competitively. Uh, I used to do sort of like how we have with factions, but you used to have like uh, one player in each position. So like I would control like a striker uh and every, then i would have a friend that would be in the le- in the midfield so you would have 11 players and you would be talking like uh, on the mic and uh it would be like you get money uh playing it as well um but yeah i kind of drifted away from that after uh i started dating uh my ex and 
I haven't played since then. I've been ever since then. I've been wanting to buy the new Xbox, but I never get around to it because I also want to buy the like every other uh uh what's it called like the other one was it you guys are always playing it the Switch oh oh yeah the Switch yeah so like yeah I I, I want to get the Switch too I'm like oh my god it's like it's just too many too many things I want to buy but yeah I I've been meaning to get back into FIFA but with like this semester is coming up it's not gonna happen so. But yeah, I I just stick with like watching the so- like soccer. Real Madrid is my my favorite team. So, cool. Matthew, do you have any questions? Um, I was gonna say so so soccer was your is your passion. Do you um consistently watch the games now still? Um, well, they're in a little bit of a break, but I do watch the games, even if like I don't watch the live games, because most of the times they're during work. Uh, there have okay. been times where like they would catch me watching the games at work. Uh, but yeah, like right now, like they, I don't know if you guys know this, that they're doing something like European teams are doing touring in America. I, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but like the El Clasico, which is uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona just recently played uh, in, I forget, somewhere in like north I, I forget where it was but i didn't uh i didn't really watch friendlies too much as something like more of a competitive uh for like being like on the top of the of the of the board and stuff like that so yeah i just kind of wanted to backtrack and, and and go more into uh the the job that, that you were saying that you had where um you had mentioned that uh surveying was something that you liked doing because it gets you like out in the field uh, versus being stuck behind a desk. Um, yep. What do you ultimately like s- want to do? What what drove you to um, that type of field in the first place? So I hate science. I hate reading. Uh, so math was like my ultimate, like only goal. I needed to do, do something around math. Uh, I tried doing accounting extremely boring extremely boring uh hated it uh i tried to do computer science it had some science classes i'm like nope i'm switching so i dipped out uh, then i tried to do uh i think i tried to do like economics or something like that uh, which is like kind of like business as well and it just all led back to anything that i wanted to do with any of those jobs it's all like sitting at a desk I always thought like you always see like if you ever see like a construction site, you always see like those guys with the helmets, like maybe white helmets or yellow helmets. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's usually yellow helmets or orange helmets are the construction workers. And then you see the guy with the white hat. That means like that's a guy that's like overseeing stuff. That's usually the serve the civil uh, engineer. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into the field and like make sure everything's going well. I talked to my friend. He does that. But like twice a month. Like that's it. And maybe for like an hour. And I thought it would be like everyday type of thing. So after I heard that, I'm like, I don't want to do this. I want to do something I enjoy doing. And I that's why I wanted to go behind there. And I, I genuinely like enjoy it. Like once I got to get a feel of like what I'm going to be doing, setting up the stuff, like it seems a lot harder. Like the fact that you can set the pot, like the tripod here and then all the way across like the street, look at the top of a building and you can get the GPS point from where you're at to there it's just it's just crazy to me like it amazes me and that actually helps with like what i want to do later on because my dad's a construction worker and i want him i want to get him out of doing that and him owning his own construction company where like he would be like the boss and then we would just like own a, a company together uh and then surveying helps because you can also survey uh a land at a home uh or you know apartments or whatever it is and you'd be surprised how much how many crazy shits you see whenever you're surveying uh, when someone like if I was to survey like Astra's uh, home, for all we know, like you can get like five feet of land that in your blueprint was actually wrong. So like, but it costs a lot of money to get a surveyor. So a lot yeah. of people don't do it. They're like, I'll be okay with it. So there was a time where I saw in the class, somebody actually lost about like 20 feet of land and they had to cut somebody's garage in half because that land belonged to the other person. But here's the thing. After they did cut the, the garage, somebody came back 
and did the survey again. And the survey that said that that actually land belonged to them was wrong. So the other, mm-hmm. the person that owed the other land had to pay for their garage because they messed up. So That's it's insane. a lot of lawsuits involved. So it's kind of scary, but I, I, I think I'm very like passionate enough to know, like not to get myself, in. but with any engineering uh, jobs, like especially civils, uh, I think maybe Asher knows this. Like recently, uh, uh, there was like a garage that collapsed down in Miami because somebody, either it was a co-worker, uh, one of the construction workers, or the the math in with a civil engineer was wrong. So they got a lawsuit, basically. Yeah. So it's it's a scary. It's a scary thing, but you know, it's something that I enjoy, and uh, I rather try risk that than staying at a job sitting down and messing up my back like all day so what is the the school um the the education like degree like in terms of uh how many classes like a time commitment in terms of years what did that look like for you um so i with me working full time and having to pay my own like classes uh it was, uh, it should have been, I should have graduated probably like a while ago, but, uh, you know, had, you know, pauses in, in life where I had to stop, uh, going to class. Uh, but typically it usually is supposed to last you like four years. Uh, maybe you can do it in three years. It's the easier, um, engineering, I think out of all of the engineering, but it still play, like pays really well. Like get you getting out of college, you get I think maybe starting like maybe sixty to seventy k, and you can in like within two years you're over a hundred k. So it's 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 something that I, I enjoy doing. It's something that um, I think a lot of people be surprised and like a lot of people steer away from doing engineering because it is. I've had friends call me like at two a.m. be like like having breakdowns because of how hard it is, and. I'm sure like if anybody knows like any like lawyers, any doctors, like they suffer. But like if you're doing something that's actually worth your time and something worth in life, like it's it's gonna it's not gonna be easy. So Yeah. Yeah. So uh I got two more questions, um, mm-hmm. I think before we wrap up. So uh the first question um that I wanna ask and I'm I would ask I'm gonna ask um Wildcat the same thing. Um, if something was presented to us as a podcast that would basically give us the ability, uh, financially to make this a full-time job. So like we could be like Joe Rogan of Pokemon podcasts, you know, something like that. Would you stop doing school and doing the surveying? to do this full time if someone presented that to you and if you're talking about like a full job like a full like pay like salary like like, like your a professional salary you would you would make enough to support yourself comfortably uh doing the podcasts you would have to do the podcast you know youtube videos right 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 appearances tournaments things you know all the things that come along with you know, it does it does have, I, like i've that. always wanted to do that um but honestly like as as time like progress like it's sli- slightly like started to change um i feel like if it's something like that i feel like with a job like you know because there's jobs where you only have to work like five like you know four or five hours right and then you have time to do whatever else you want after that I feel like if it comes down to that, like I think I can do uh, this as a full time thing. Cause I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like I do spend a lot of time, you know, either streaming with a podcast. Like I feel like it's, it's sort of like a, a part time job that like doesn't feel like a job. Yeah. Oh, um, for sure. It's like, it's that's what you job. want. And that's kind of like, yeah, it's, 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 it's something that I, I enjoy doing. So like, that's kind of like, why i kind of went with like engineering because it's something that i would enjoy doing i've always liked to build stuff in civil engineer you build stuff so um uh, that's something that i i just enjoy doing and i won't see it as a job and that's kind of like when surveying like i will enjoy doing this i'll, I'll find it very intriguing 
that's kind of like with Pokemon. Like I always find everything about Pokemon very intriguing. It always catches my attention. Uh, I mean, obviously we have your, your typical mauled moments, but that's besides the point. And I'm sure you're going to have that at work too anyways, no matter if you love yeah. the job or not. But yeah, no, that's something that uh, I think if I, anybody like I would like anybody offered me that kind of job, like I would definitely like extremely consider it. Like it's something that is very, I mean, I love Pokemon. Like why wouldn't I want to consider that as like a full-time job, right? Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah. Um, and actually it's not the last question, but it's the kind of. Um, <laughs> okay. So for those who are new to to listening to the show um when we first started it it was it was me and dino um and i want to know when i presented the idea of doing this podcast um besides <laughs> the fact that you had no idea anything about microphones headphones like i think the headphones you're wearing are the same headphones you got day one uh and the yeah. microphone you were this using was like 20 re- bucks <laughs> yeah on amazon yeah um if i would have told you when i asked you to do this podcast with me that in 78 weeks well actually it's probably 80 because i think we missed like one or two so mm-hmm. almost two years we would be where we are right now. What would you have said? <laughs> I would literally laugh. I would just be like, you're, you're full of shit. Uh, as, as basically what it came down to. I mean, like I was, I'm not going to lie to you. And actually this is probably like a, a little bit of like a new, like to you as well. Like I actually yeah. almost didn't consider doing it. Uh, just for the fact that at the, at the time, like um, it didn't seem possible with the relationship that I was in. Uh, Mm -hmm. it just seemed like it would be like a problem more than something that I would enjoy. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I said, fuck it. And you know, here I am. Um, but yeah, no, like I, I, like, I didn't think that we would build like blow up this much. I mean, like I also like for the most part, like I always been like shy, like most of my life. And if you might think I'm quiet now, I know Matthew says I'm quiet sometimes. This is like, I would tell you, I was a hundred times worse in the past yeah so me like i remember the first episode yo i was shaking like i was shaking when i was like talking telling my it was episode zero i was like i had to write like a whole paragraph of what i was gonna say like i was trying to read it like line by line and it was it was just bad but now it's just like all comes natural like it's just it's that's kind of like why i also think you know you know for you asking in the first place it, it just also evolved me as a person uh, in terms of like, you know, speaking my mind, uh, not having a problem, you know, saying what I think. Um, that's one thing that I, I definitely had an issue at the start, you know, episode zero, even up to like probably like five. Um, even actually, I probably even going further, but now it's just like second nature. And I mean, you know, we talk about that stuff also in the pod. And, you know, we don't want to mention too much about Pokemon, but like, once you do something so much, it just becomes second nature. Like you don't even think about it. You just talk and all of a sudden it's 28 minutes later and then you're like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, that was, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. those, those first couple of weeks, the, yeah, for the sure way this show has definitely evolved into something. Bro. I, I never thought we would have shirts. Like what the fuck? I know. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're, like just what over the past month like the, it's gotten like ser- it got serious real quick um with just everything i don't know like i mean like it, it got ser- like even more serious for me like recently i think i told you i'm like okay this is serious shit right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to disclose anything but like you know we know what i yeah. mean so. yeah exactly um awesome uh so thank you you know for doing this i know it this is not your comfort zone Oh, um, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I'm okay with this. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask awkward questions. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I mean... We held back. Also, we held back. Also, I'm at the like, same I time... I was ready. I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to record an hour an hour chat dot. Um, right, right, I'm sure right, there, right. Was, there was more <laughs> embarrassing things I could talk oh, yeah. to. But, um, no, I, I just know that you're... 
not that it's not your comfort zone. You're just definitely not the first person to volunteer to do it. <laughs> oh, I actually didn't mind at all. Surprisingly, that's what I'm saying. Like, and that kind of goes like you're saying that yourself. And I actually didn't like even second guess. I'm like, uh, I don't know if I can do it. Like I maybe like three years ago. Now I was yeah. just like, yo, ask me like anything. Like I'll literally just tell you straight up. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so I guess the last question is, uh, do you already know what the last question is? <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, have you ever done an American pie? <laughs> You're so... Yo, I, I was trying to like, like contain myself, but I couldn't. Uh, no, I, I have not. <laughs> uh, so, funny story for oh, listeners. Um, if you know the show, you know that, that Dino... Uh, I how to put this nicely is is pop culturally inclined um <laughs> sounds about right sounds about right and when i asked uh when i said i was gonna ask him that question the reason one of the main reasons why i said it ahead of time was so that he had time to look up what it was because i had a feeling he had no idea what it was um and just the reaction of when i sent the gif of uh what is it jason biggs yeah. Laying on top of the table, going, it's not what it looks like. You know what's insane though? I've watched American Pies, but I'm like, I never remember that for some reason. Uh, it's I don't know. Um, but so. awesome, uh, d- dude. Thank you again so much for doing this. And like, not to get sentimental, I haven't done this uh, probably in a long time. But like, seriously, <laughs> like, thank you so much for doing this with me because I I don't. I think if you weren't there for like the times where like even like I was kind of questioning it Mm -hmm. um, because I mean I've gone back and looked at like some of our personal texts from like the beginning and it was a lot of me kind of pushing you but it was also like the reassurance from you being like okay yeah yeah okay I see that yeah that's so exactly that's insane um, yeah like I appreciate like I know, especially in the beginning, going through like some of your personal stuff that you were going through, like just sticking through with it, even with all yeah. that shit going on, like exactly. that was that means a lot. So we did have a lot of bumps, you know, a lot of dropouts in the past. And it was it was a lot was, of iffy, you know. I yeah, I always little... like hesitant about it. Yep. Um. But yeah, no, I appreciate it. Um. <laughs> And uh, I think what next week, I don't know who we're going to do next week. It's either going to be me or Wildcat. Um, yeah. We'll see. Uh, we'll surprise you. Yeah. <laughs> Always a surprise with us. Yes. You it's never not know. really a surprise. It's a surprise for us because yeah, be we normally figure it out like the day before. <laughs> Probably like an hour before. Yeah. even. <laughs> yep. Um, awesome. So uh, thank you guys for listening to the Fireside Chat Tot. Um, and... Um, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Thank you for listening to the Fireside Channel. And until next time, good luck and good night.